Find the equation of the circle with a diameter with n points 1, negative 2, and negative 2, negative 3. So, first off, the general form for the equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h and k represent the coordinates of the center of the circle, and r represents the radius of the circle from the center to the outside. So, first off, let's find r. If we take a look here, say these are our two endpoints on the diameter right, these two points, the radius would be one half, like half of the distance between them. So if we use the distance formula to calculate the distance between the two points, like this formula here, and then divide it by two, we'll get our radius. So here we take the difference in the x values, that's negative two minus one, or we could do it the other way around, doesn't matter. And the difference in the y value is negative three minus two, which gives us that. And so you'll get negative three squared plus negative one squared, that will give you 9 plus 1, which is 10. So with our distance between the two points is the square root of 10, and so our radius is 1 half the square root of 10. Also, we have to find the um, co coordinates of the circle, right? So we can plug in all three of the values. And if you notice, it's halfway between the two endpoints. In other words, it's the midpoint of the line between the two endpoints. So if we take the midpoint formula, we take the average of the two x values, so it's 1 minus 2 divided by 2, that gives you negative a half, and the average of the two y values, which is negative 2 minus 3 divided by 2, that's negative 5 over 2, uh, that, you could also represent this as negative 0 0.5 and negative 2.5, so those are our values of h and k. So now we can plug in these three values, 1 half root 10, negative a half, and negative 5 halves into our equation for their values. And we can simplify and we get x plus a half squared plus y plus five half squared is equal to, and if you evaluate this squared, you'll get 10 over four. And so that is our final answer. And here's a connection graphically. The red points are the endpoints. The blue circle is the equation that we solve for. And the green is the center of the circle. You can see that it actually makes a circle. Green is in the center. Our two endpoints are here and here. And you can see the equation of the circle models that circle.